Hello, this is Iron Bill back again with another video. It's been a few days since I've made a video and uh, of course in the last week we've had the release of the final shape and I've been spending all my time trying to campaign on uh, three characters to get my light leveled up as much as I can and also to open as many uh, aspects and fragments as I can. Um, I got sidetracked along the way, kind of meandered. I didn't get any of those things totally accomplished. Um, but in, in some ways lost a day. Obviously, if you were here, you know what the first day launch was like. It was awful. It was the worst ever in, in Destiny history. There, there's no denying that. Um, it wasn't just that there were long queues to get in. Um, there were disconnects once you did get in. I mean, it was an unplayable mess. Uh, and worse than that, if you did get in and you played on that first day, then you know that, um, <clears throat> you had to skip the cinematics which was a large part of the story, uh, in order to be able to play it all. And it's it's unfortunate, uh, but after I got done being mad about that, and I was, um, and actually played the content, the story is outstanding. I would say that this is, uh, you can see where the work went, I guess uh, is, is the way I would put it. And there is so much stuff to do right now, and so much quality stuff to do, that... Um, I just can't get it all done. And it's a sweet place to be. It's a first world problem, but uh, I, I am enjoying it. Now, what you're seeing here is Iconoclasm, which is the final uh, mission of eight in the campaign. And this one gives all kinds of trouble, and I don't want to talk too much about it. I, I really just want to give my impressions of, of uh, uh, the release as a whole. Um, and just thought I'd let this play in the background, if you're curious about what it is. Um, so, to continue with that, uh, the raid was subsequently released on Friday. It was in contest mode, which meant that uh, player power was restricted well below, I think it's 20, 25 below the event level. And that's assuming that anyone could have been to max power level, which is doubtful. Uh, you'll also uh, need to know that this season, no matter what, you'll always be five below, even under the best of loadouts, you'll always be five below whatever the power level is of an activity. That goes for strikes, dungeons, and uh, rates. I mean, there, there's you just are not going to be able to over-level for anything anymore. And uh, that's, that's one of the things that I, I want to kind of touch on while I'm on it, is, is that uh, power has become almost irrelevant. Uh, almost. And uh, one of the key places that it is still going to, going to be relevant is in Trials of Osiris. It does matter what your power level is there. Uh, and to a point with the high level content like Grandmaster Nightfalls and, and Raids and things like that, only to a point. Um, but there'll be a level that you get to, say, 2015, 2020, something like that, uh, where it won't matter if you get any more. It just, it just won't matter. And Bungie has stated a long time ago that they wanted to, to do away with uh, the importance of power leveling. And you can see where they're really making strides to do that. All right, back to the raid. Um, as we're talking about raids, I happened to, to watch a bit of that online. I, I did not attempt to do it. I, I wasn't anywhere near high enough power level to even begin to do that. I would have been one shot out of everything. Um, but... In the first 18 and a half hours, it was 18 hours and 36 minutes, I think, was how long it took to beat the raid, making it officially the longest uh, of any raids uh, to, uh, well, the most time required to, to accomplish uh, a first-time finish. So, uh, Team Parabellum won. Uh, no one had ever heard of them before. I happened to be on CB Gray's uh, stream uh, when they finished up. Uh, they did not stream it. It's just that's when the announcement was made. And when that happened, um, well, b before I say that, uh, and I'm all over the place, and I apologize, I didn't write anything down. Um, before they got to that, uh, it, it, there was a lot of confusion. I mean, there are five different stages of the raid, and they are very complex. And it's going to require that, that people get in and know their stuff. And uh, as of like the weekend, I think that there were only a handful of teams that had gotten through it. I think uh, a friend of mine looked it up and out of millions of players, only like 4,000 people managed to get a completion this weekend. 
And I don't know how, uh, how many of those came after the contest mode. But the point being is this is not going to be one of those raids that a lot of people are going to be able to do. I mean, that's just the bottom line. Uh, if there, you know, most people don't do the other raids and they're far less complex. This one is a, a real challenge. So um, if you do decide to get in and, and do this raid, do your homework, you know, make sure that you know what all the encounters are and, and um, how to do them and what the mechanics are, which leads me to the next thing. When this raid was completed, uh, the 12 man event opened up and this, uh, the cool thing about this is it allows you to see the witness fight and I, and I almost showed that <coughs> instead of what you're watching now. Um, but I felt like that would have been more of a spoiler than, than this is. Uh, anyway, <coughs> it's a 12-man event. You get to fight the witness. You get to defeat the witness. And that actually becomes as the completion of your campaign. It's the last big thing you have to do before you just go talk to somebody and, and the campaign's over. But, uh, yeah, it, it, it actually is super cool. And, uh, I, you know, it's everything Onslaught isn't. <laughs> you know, Onslaught to me was just mind-numbingly, you know, grindy. And, and uh, I, I don't know. Uh, excise or excision or whatever it's called really is not. And, and that may change over time, but Onslaught hit me from the beginning as something I just didn't want to spend any time in. And uh, this is different. All right, uh, last thing. In terms of leveling, there are a lot of changes, and uh, I'm just still figuring that out. Um, I think it's going to be important to get your commendation. So whatever playlist you do to get your playlist, you're going to get your powerful reward from that. Uh, it's going to be an, an important part of you leveling up as, as time goes on. Um, I think the low cap is 1930, 1940. Uh, then there is a hard cap at 1990. And uh, then uh, the pinnacle cap is 2000. And it's, it's going to take a while to get there because I don't think there are quite as many sources as before. But, you know, there are paths to get there no matter how you like to play. And that's another great change that Bungie's made this time is that uh, they have, uh, like, for instance, if you look at the Pathfinder and the Pale Heart, I mean, they give you multiple paths to do what you want to do inside of the Pale Heart. I mean, you don't, there's not just one path to get the, the, the rewards at the end. And there are so many re uh, rewards and new weapons in here. I don't even really want to delve into that because I don't want this video to be too long. Um, but just a lot of cool stuff uh, going on right now. And um, interesting enemies, new enemies. Uh, this ability you see me throwing right now. Um, it, it, Transcendent, I believe, is, is what it's called. Um, it is actually very, very cool at, in its own right. So... Um, Final thing I'll talk about is uh, in in terms of loadouts and, and super uh, or, uh, abilities and, and and all of that. Uh, two key things: I was a well lock, you know, for PvP and PVE. You know, if I got into a raid or a co-op event of any kind, people you know wanted my well. I mean that 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 was you know critical. That's not going to be a thing anymore. Um, I, I think that uh, you'll, you'll get clapped pretty hard if you try to, you know, well against a boss anywhere. I, it, it really took a serious nerf, and people are going to have to rethink that. And it, either through uh, having more offensive capability or using weapons like the, the new auto rifle, the, the solar auto rifle, and I can't think of the name of it right now, but, uh, you know, that, that can provide healing for teammates. Uh, I get Lumina might actually wind up being important uh, at, at some point in time in some events. Uh, there are going to have to be other ways to heal teammates. Uh, it's going to have to be more support based you know, by everybody involved. Uh, and I think that uh, the old adage, the best defense is, is a great offense, is, is going to uh, probably come into play. The other thing was, of course, uh, the uh, Titan um, shield or, 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 or uh, Ward of Dawn, all of that. I, I think that got nerfed as well. And uh, you're going to see a lot less Titan Bubbles, you know, in PvP because it's not going to be worth running that and then having, you know, the Hunter uh, Arc Super just zap you right out of it. And not just you, but your whole team. I mean, it's going to be an ugly, ugly thing. So uh, going to be some adjustments, um, but I think it's a good thing to shake things up, and, and I'm all for it. I just think it's going to be a little bit chaotic in the first weeks as people sort this out. I also think that uh, 
this whole prismatic thing is going to wind up being completely overpowered and it's just a matter of how long they let that run totally amok uh, b before um, you know they they finally uh, balance that out just think how long stasis you know was allowed to uh, shatter dive and all that stuff was allowed to go on and you, I, you get where I'm coming from on that so anyway a bit of a rambling post here uh, my overall if, if I had to rate this uh, drop I, it's right at a 10 for me it really is honestly I've not played PvP yet I've not played uh, in-game content per se, but the stuff that I have done and the stuff that I can see, uh, man, it's a 10. Uh, it's a banger. So I'm really happy about uh, the way it's going right now, and, and that may completely flip as I get into more content. So this is kind of a preliminary view on it, only a weekend, but, uh, and also uh, the first um, not nah, season or whatever they're calling that drops today as i'm filming this in fact in in the next three minutes it, it will drop i'm filming this just before the, the first reset and uh new content is new content is coming out even now so uh with that said i i hope you've enjoyed this as much as i have uh i hope the video uh gave you some insight uh, uh, on on something anything <laughs> But I uh, just want to get my impressions out there, and uh, I'm a little bit hyped for this. I uh, Again, that first day launch was a disaster, but after that, um, I think things are, are, you know, a lot better. So I'm just hoping that they can keep it going. Um, that's a topic for another discussion, though. So with that said, this is Iron Bill thanking you for watching and signing out.